Hello, friends, foes, other watchers on the internet. My name is Matt. And you're watching Hogwash Gaming. Uh, yeah, so we are in Lord Jabu Jabu, and we are holding a princess trying to get her out of here. Because she's looking for something, and her dad is really upset that she is stuck in here. And we've got these little electric things that are really dangerous. And, uh, yeah, we don't want to mess with them. Alright, let's go in here. And we've got another one of these tendril things. And we also got a boomerang last time, so we can just slice these up, no problem. We'll just walk around, taunt it. Yeah, yeah, mm hmm. Yeah? You think so? You think so? Yeah. I don't think so. Goes down. No treasure chest this time, but that's okay. We are out of here. Alright, we'll go back to him. Him and him. And now this way is open. And this should be where the green one is hanging. Yes. Alright. So we will take care of these jellyfishes first. Boomerang is so nice. Oh! I'm like that. Ooh. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. Slurp. Cool. Alright, so that should take care of everything out here. So we're good at here. Now. So we'll go through here. And uh, you'll notice that the green thing that was over there is not there anymore. And we're going to use our boomerang to take care of things now. Of course. Alright, now we can do this. We're electrocuted, why not? Alright. It's really loud getting zapped. Alright, so we're gonna go down here. Alright, I'm gonna put her down. Because we've got a couple golden scatellas up here. Let's just get these taken care of real quick. We don't have them sneaking up on us. Well, one really cool thing about the boomerang is when you throw it at something, there's a chance it'll bring it back. Alright. And... Just a little too high. Uh, a little too low. There we go. We'll just lock onto it. Thanks. There we go. We'll pick her up. And we'll go this way. And there's the spiritual stone. Platform. Okay. We'll get you up there. And she's gonna run up, grab it, and be like, hey, 
I've got it. Why Princess Ruto? Because I let her. I finally found my mother's stone. I got very upset when Lord Jabu Jabu swallowed it. While I was feeding him, he suddenly swallowed me. I was so surprised I dropped it inside. But now what I've, that I've found it, I don't need to be... Whatever. Take me home right now. Because she's the princess and she feels entitled. And she gets sucked up into the innards. An octopus? Uh oh. And here we go. We've got a big gloopy thing. Alright, and we need to outrun it by getting really close to these blades. Alright. The idea is we'll catch up with it and throw this boomerang at its behind. Should have saved before this. Oh, uh, we'll save when we die. All right, gotta get away, gotta get away, gotta get away. I wonder if I can do what I do with the, the dongo and um, and uh, whoa. Try hitting it in the face. There we go. Hit it in the face. Alright. Oh, and then you hit it in the back. Then you'll turn around and I'll hit him in the back. side and he runs very fast here. Yeah, we're gonna have to do something different. die. Pretty sure. Um. Yep. We're down. We're dead. Okay. So. Yes, we'd like to save. Continue playing. Yes. So we're just gonna show up in his mouth. Let me pass here. And just grab this. And then we're gonna throw that. Get up there. Done. 
open that up. We'll go this way. Alright. Let's go get this octopus. There we go on here. Go through here. Yep. And running away. I need your help. You need to be aiming. Well, I'm gay. Really close to these spikes. Run out. the logic that this thing uses. I understand that I am talking about a gigantic octopus that doesn't have logic. There we go. And... Alright. Alright, here we go. Bring it, bring it. Do this. All right. Get hit. Get hit again. Your logic is undeniable. And yeah, he's, he's done. Okay, cool. We're gonna get these. And this is gonna take us up to where Princess Rotu is. Alright, here we go. Alright, cool, cool. Free. We're gonna go up here. We're gonna take this thing out. Right here. Big and bad. I understand. Boom. Boomerang beats it all. All right, here we go. And we're gonna go here. And 
this is gonna go down and connect to this. Uh -huh. And we'll need one of those boxes. Alright, so we'll take one of these. Clink. Clank. Clunk. Alright. Boomerang. Boomerang. Now, when it comes to game design, I think this level really goes for promoting this weapon. Because it's more than a weapon, it's a tool, and it does all sorts of crazy things. I hear a lot of skatellas. Alright, so we're going up here. There's one right there. Oh. I'm gonna have to turn around. Boom. Boom. Go there. Bring it back. Cool. Is there another one on the other side? I don't see it. So, let's just go up. I do know I heard a second one, I think. Pretty sure I heard a second one. There we go. Shloop. Now that goes up a bit. Maybe it's up there. Any other spiders? Any other spiders? Don't see any other spiders. Any other spiders? Oh, all right. So we're going in here. And this is the next boss. This is the second boss of the series. Really? I mean, it's the third one because I forgot the the queen spider. All right. Alright. Alright. So, we are gonna save. And, uh, yeah. Not much of a problem. We've got the tool, we've been using the tool all throughout this dungeon. Not a problem. Whew. Watch out. This here. Just like that. Interesting that this fight is a lot easier than the fight with the octopus. Here we 
go. There we go. Ouch. We're fine. We're fine. Just turn around with it. Alright. Boom! Jabu will not have a belly ache. Oh, and Princess Roku is here. I like angry with flush cheeks. And now we're going up. Zwing. All right. I just realized my cursor was on there the whole time. That's great. Good job, Link. Or hogwash. Sorry. Oh, she's getting all sultry with her water treading. Ooh, just a little flirty there, huh? Girl, your your uh emotions are are a little raucous. You know, you're angry and then you're happy and then you're flirty. Oh, the man that would be your husband? Well, I am a real man, as they say. Zora's Sapphire. She goes kickity kickity. And there's the Sapphire. So now we have all of the spiritual stones. Boom. Zora's Sapphire, the spiritual stone of water, passed down by the Zoras. Alright. See Princess Zelda. Okay. Well, don't tell my father. I, okay. It's really random. I gotta, like, swim right by him. So... Yeah. Okay, so we got two or three Skatellas in there? Yeah, we got three of them at least. So, uh... Yeah, there he is. Let's see if he's got any reward for us. Oh, hogwash. So you saved. I appreciate it. That's that's all you Oh my goodness. You appreciate it. 
Well, that's that's just lovely. All right, let's crap a spell on that, but we're fine. Now then, I'll show you a uh, a nifty little place. Go up here. And now that we have the boomerang, we can grab some things. But this first, this is a uh, this is a special little shortcut that we have here. Zwing. Check it out. Yep, this is a shortcut to the Cory Forest. Pretty nice. But we want to go this way because there's some other things that are important to get here. And before we do anything else, let's save. Cool. Alright. Come out of here. Alright. Um washed away in the current. It's okay. We'll be fine. Uh, is there a way to get out of here? Yes. Okay. Cool. It's not going to be washed all the way to the beginning. Alright. Here we go. This way. It's a nice, fast little way to go, though. Alright. So... Skeltella was right there at night, so we're going to have to wait a bit. Oh, don't, don't do it again. Alright, there he is. And fire. And fire. And we'll just climb the ladder. Or jump off the cliff and completely miss it. Ladders, I tell ya. They're not easy in this day and age. Alright, cool. Now, I don't think that we can use the boomerang to get that. But, I want to give it a shot. A little high. A little low. Nope. Okay. Worth a shot. Alright. Now, as we go this way, I think it's only fair to warn you that things are going to start taking a shift. Because though we have all the spiritual stones, which was our quest to begin with, we um, are going to run into some issues with again and again. And uh, yeah, so let's. Let's go see what that looks like, shall we? It's the early morning. Things should be fine. But are they? Is the gate up? In the middle of the day? Is it getting cloudy? Is it getting darker? The... The bridge is up. What's with this? A horse. Lightning. Thunder. The bridge is up in the middle of the day. It's getting dark. It's raining. Wait a minute. Does this seem familiar? 
a dream, perhaps? This does seem familiar, does it not? Watch out! I threw something in the moat. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Oh, Damn it, door. Yeah, I'm master. You over there, little kid. You must have seen the white horse got a patch. Now, which way did it go? Answer me! That horse is spooky. So you think you can protect them from me? You've got guts, kid. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Heh. <laughs> Heh. <laughs> wow. You want a piece of me? Very funny. I like your attitude. You've got magic. Dark magic. Gonna knock you back a little, huh? Who am I dealing with? You tell me. I am Ganondorf, and soon I will rule the world. Alright. Well, you might think that. But, uh. I've gotta stop you. Gotta stop you indeed. Okay. Well, well first off, he was silly not to have noticed the princess throwing this in the water. The princess throwing this in the water. It's the Ocarina of Time. It's the royal family's hidden treasure which Zelda left behind. It glows with mystical light. Oh, snap. Does it just... Ooh. Can I... It's Zelda. Ooh. Hogwash. When you hold this Ocarina in your hand, I won't be around anymore. She's dead. I wanted to wait for you, but I couldn't delay any longer. At least I could leave you the ocarina and this melody. Hmm. Dun, 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 dun. All right. So it's... Right, a down, right, a down. <laughs> All right, you've learned the song of time. Now, Hogwash, play this melody in front of the altar in the Temple of Time. You must protect the Triforce. Hmm. Navi's going nuts. She's super excited about something. Alright, well, we gotta get to the Temple of Time, right? Now... I do want to use the bomb on the thing in the Deku Tree, but I think we'll be okay. I think we might be able to do that after this. If not, we can come back and do it. Hello. Wasn't that Princess Zelda riding on the white horse? Well, it was... She was one of the people riding on the white horse. And these These eye statues. <laughs> very vivid in their in their makeup compared to the background here which looks very mist like it's alright 
temple of time. Check. Okay, so I didn't check. I just kind of pressed the button so it would skip. Alright, I don't think we'll need deck of nuts anytime soon. Uh, it was. stones swirl about and this is what happens we're gonna open the door of time to the Triforce and all involved there the Triforce lightens up Right. Well, let's check it out. Pump, 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 pump. Whoa, hogwash! Isn't that? It's the sword of time. It's that legendary blade, the master sword. Okay, Master Sword, Sword of Time. Same thing. I'm gonna grab it. This episode's gonna have its share of, um... Oh, snap. <laughs> chair of thumbnails that I'm gonna have to choose from. Alright. You held the keys. You have led me to the gates of the sacred realm. <laughs> yes, I owe it all to you, kid. Oh, snap. He's, he's, he's pretty happy. Hogwash, wake up, Hogwash the Chosen One. Mm. The Chosen One. What is this place? There's, there's a lot of symbols on the ground. I am Rao, one of the ancient sages. Ages ago, we ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the entrance to the sacred realm. This is the Chamber of Sages inside the Temple of Light. The Temple of Light, situated in the very center of the sacred realm, is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. The Master Sword. The evil, destroying sword that you pulled out of the pedestal of time was the final key to the sacred realm. Oh gosh, do not be alarmed. Look at yourself. Okay. We're gonna... What? What? Oh, snap. Look, Hogwash. You're big now. You've grown up. Yes, I'm a real man. The Master Sword is a sacred blade which one, which evil ones may never touch. Only one worthy of the title of Hero of Time can pull it from the pedestal of time. However, you were too young to be the Hero of Time, therefore your spirit was sealed here for seven years. And now that you are old enough, the time has come for you to awaken as the Hero of Time. Well, do you understand your destiny? Um, yes. But remember... Though you open the door of time in the name of peace, Ganondorf, the Yorodo King of Thieves, used it to enter this forbidden sacred realm. 
He obtained the Triforce from the Temple of Light, and with its power he became King of Evil. His evil power radiated from the Temple of Hyrule. Oh, oh my. Oh. In a few short years, it transformed Hyrule into a world of monsters. Um, forgive me, Sage, Roku, or whatever. Um, but it was pretty full of monsters to begin with. Oh, wait. Still hope, the power of the sages remains. When the power of all the sages is awakened, the sages' seals will contain all the evil power in the void of the realm. And one of the sages, your power to fight together with the sages makes you the hero of time. The hero of time chosen by the master sword. Keep my spirit with you and find the power of all the other sages. Add their might to your own. What's annoying is these, um... The symbols that we are given don't really give you any superpower, which, you know, makes them just kind of like um, MacGuffins, really. It adds his power to yours. I mean, what does that do? It doesn't increase my magic bar. It doesn't, it doesn't do anything, really. But it's okay. Temple of Time. Warp, 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 warp. And here we are. We're all grown up in the Temple of Time. Everything's dark. We're back in the Temple of Time. Yep, but have seven years really passed? It looks like you won't be able to use some of the weapons you found as a kid anymore. Like the boomerang. That's really annoying. We get the best weapon tool, and then we become an adult, and whoa. Who's this? I've been waiting for you, hero of time. When evil rules all, an awakening voice from the sacred realm will call those destined to be sages who dwell in the five temples. Oh, oh, there's a lot of reading. One in the deep forest, one in a high mountain, one under a vast lake, one within the house of the dead, one inside a goddess of the sand. Together with the hero of time, the awakened ones will bind the evil and return the light of peace to the world. This is the legend of the temples passed down by my people, the Sheikah. I am Sheik, survivor of the Sheikahs. Okay, as I see you standing there holding the mythical master sword, you really do look like the legendary hero of time. Well, thank you. If you believe the legend, you may ha you have no choice. You must look for the five temples and awaken the five sages. Okay. One sage is waiting for the time of awakening in the forest temple. The sage is a girl I am sure you know. Because the evil power in the temple, she cannot hear the awakening call from the sacred realm. Unfortunately, equipped as you are currently are, you cannot even enter the temple. But if you believe what I'm saying, you should head to Kakariko village. Do you understand, Hogwash? Sure. You're, you're kind of odd, but uh, I kind of trust you. All right, there's the, the sacred stones. They've still been there for ten years. Um, um, okay. Well, ooh, things are a little different. A little different. Mm -hmm. All right. So I don't have a shield. That's that's one thing that's interesting. Um, that's a that's a mummy of sorts. That's that's the castle. Mm -hmm. All right. Well. Hello. Goodbye. You're creepy. And you frighten me. All right. Well, we're gonna go through here. All right. Well, we need to go back to that village thing. 
All right, well, Kakariku Rico Village. Kakori Rico Village. Oh, and now it's all sunshiny again. It's over here, is what I'm saying. It's the place up here, and I know where we need to go. But, um... Yeah, we'll just head up this tree for good measure. We'll go up here. Alright. Well, everyone's not... Oh, oh, these guys, they're, they're laughing away like they were in the village. Ooh, this building is finished. Okay. All right, so let's go here and we will save. And, uh, I guess we will put this fireball thing there. And we're gonna go up here. Alright, this is the graveyard where the dead things are. Alright. Now that is a foe. It's a ghost. Alright. Well. Somewhere around here. There's a secret entrance. There it is. We're gonna go down. Oh, leave me alone. Alright, we're gonna go here. Right. And we have the Hawaiian. Okay, cool. So now we can go in here. And this shield doesn't burn. Which is nice. And we'll blow this up. There we go. We'll walk up here, and looky here, we have fairies. Now, I told you earlier that if you put a fairy in a bottle, it is a good thing. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put a couple of fairies in these bottles. In fact, I am going to do this. And I'm gonna drink this milk. Alright. And we're going to grab a fairy. We're gonna drink the rest of this milk. Because we don't need it. Because we're just gonna fill this up with fairies. the best thing to put in these bottles. Alright. Cool. Alright, now we'll go here and we'll set everything kind of back to where it needs to go. So, Ocarina, Bombs, Fireball. Cool. So, I thought this was another thing, but we'll have to keep looking. I mean, it's great that we found the shield. We needed it. But there's another thing that we need to find. I wonder if things with flowers in front of them are the ones with secret passages. Are there any flowery ones up here? Nope. Okay, cool. Well, we need to go here. Because this has something that we need. Yes, here we go. <laughs> hey, young man, are you fast on your feet? I may not look like it, but I am confident in my speed. 
Oh. Get up, get up. This way. Whew. Whew. All right, cool. Oh, get up, get up. Come on. Go that way. He looks like he likes to put rupees where. Where he didn't go. Tick tock, tick tock, yeah. Going that way. Alright. This way. Oh, we're gonna go up this way, huh? Running, 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 running. All right, we made it. Looks pretty happy. The time of this race was one minute, five seconds. Hey, young man, you are very quick to be able to keep up with me. As a reward, I'm going to give you my treasure. It's called the Hookshot. It's a spring-loaded chain that will pull you to any spot where it's hooked sticks. Doesn't that sound cool? I'm sure it will help you. I live here now, so come back again sometime. I'll give you something cool. One more thing, be careful on your way back. <laughs> Alright. So we found... What, Navi? Should we believe what Sheik says? Yes, we should, because we're there. Dang it. Alright, let's open this up. The hook shot. It's probably the best item in the game. Because it's like the boomerang. And the bow and arrow. And it gets you places. Yep. Alright. Cool. So let's go here. Let's equip this. Who needs bombs when you got a hook shot, man? Alright. Okay, so, um... First off, we're gonna take a look, see. Okay, well. What is it, Navi? Hey, isn't that the same design that's on the door of time? Well, that gives me an idea. We'll play, uh, was it? Oh, I got it wrong. So it's right. There we go. And there we go. It disappears. We'll have to keep that in mind. Up. This is fun. And we'll run. Hop. And we'll run. And get that heart container. Two pieces? You got it. Now this guy is really fun. Grr. I'll never forget what happened on that day seven years ago. Grr. It's all that Ocarina Kid's fault. Next time he comes around here, I'm gonna mess him up. What? You've got an Ocarina? What the heck? That reminds me of that time seven years ago. Back then, a mean kid came here and played a strange song. He messed up this windmill. I'll never forget this song. A down up. A down up. Alright, so it's A down up. A down up. Alright, so now we've learned the Song of Storms, which will help us later, of course, because that's how it always works. Song of Storms. Alright. 
notice the uh, windmill is starting to speed up. Oh no, a storm again! You played the ocarina again, didn't you? Ah! Now we're spinning like crazy. So you'll notice this well is empty. All the way to the bottom is it, it's empty. And you can't get through it. That's okay though. It's okay. Because we're going to find out what happens later. But until then, I think this is a good time to stop. We've done quite a bit. I'm going to have a hard time choosing which uh, <laughs> which uh, thumbnail I'm going to go with. Because we got a lot done. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, sorry I didn't talk too much. And this one, I, I got kind of tired. Probably will stop here. And uh, record later. But uh, yeah, this has been a lot of fun. And until next time, this is Hogwash over and out. Catch you later. And I'm gonna save this time. <laughs> gonna save.